Good afternoon. Welcome to another episode of Backyard Chemistry from Soda Center Field. We are honored indeed to have the esteemed <coughs> visit from Professor Thomas Theodore Guffrey, my lifelong friend and colleague in chemistry, colleague in crime, I almost said. He is an instructor at California State University, Long Beach, and the master of the teaching demonstration. <coughs> Today, we are going, he is going to perform a most amazing demonstration. He's going, well, I'll let him take it up from here. He's going to make nylon. I don't know how he's going to do it, but he's going to tell us all about it. Professor Tom? Well, thank you very much, Dr. Larry Bird, the best O-Chem teacher, organic chem teacher in the country, and I mean that, and my best friend. Well, despite the orange hat, I should say that I do not have a side job at Caltrans. All right, now <laughs> we are going to do something amazing here. We are going to make a material called nylon, which is a polymer. That means a huge, huge molecule that goes on and on and on, like a polyester, like Teflon, like saran wrap. Anyway, let's get on with it, and we will make some nylon. I will put the two solutions in this beaker. The first solution contains one of the two parts that I need to make nylon. It is in dissolved in water. The second solution is the other part of what I need to make nylon, and the two will react. That is, if I can get the top off of this bottle, and I think I just did. Now, this is the other molecule to make nylon is in the oil. Now, you probably know if you've worked with vinegar and oil on your yummy salad, yum yum, vinegar and oil don't mix. Vinegar is water-based, the oil is on top. Now, if I say the magic words, maybe I can make some nylon. I look at you and I say, ooh, would you please do something cool? I'll make some nylon. How is that? That would be wonderful. And kaboom, we will make, oh, look at that. We're pulling nylon out of a beaker. Either that, or there's a little invisible man in there that has a heck of a head cold. <laughs> Sorry for that snotty comment. Now watch this. Nylon is appearing. Now that is used in fishing line. It's used to make nylon stockings. It was used in parachutes in World War II when this great country defeated the evil Nazis and Adolf Hitler. Now you're not supposed to touch it, but at my age it doesn't matter and I'm gonna pull nylon rope, and we're gonna be here for hours, rolling it magically out of that beaker. How does it work? Well, where the oil and water mix, that's where the nylon forms, and the magic begins. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? And there's usually, it's called the nylon rope trick. Usually we need some Indian music. Wow, look at that. Should I go for another hour, Miss, Miss Videographer? Or no. should I stop now? Stop now. It is just absolutely amazing, and I just don't want to stop. Should I mix it all up and make a nylon ball now? No. No? How long, how long will it go? Who knows? Only the shadow knows. <laughs> we don't know how long it'll go. You see, it's an amazing, this is the magic of the wonderful science of chemistry and its chemistry for today's wonderful world. This long molecule is called a polymer. A polymer, as I said earlier. What does poly mean? Poly means many. A polyglot is someone who speaks many languages. A polynomial in the great subject of math is a, a, a mathematical expression with many parts. So poly, many, mer units, but the units repeat and go on and on in a wonderful polymer. DNA is a polymer. Protein, carbohydrate. Easy, Tom. Who jams the wave? All right. Now, why don't I just stop this? And if you don't mind, uh, Dr. Bird, I will mix this up. Now that we've made a bunch That's of nylon. That's fine with me. Go for now, it. Let's make a nylon ball. Ooh. Ho, 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 y'all. Let me pull out that 
Nylon ball, look at that blob of nylon. You know what? I spilled some of this solution and this solution that went into my pocket, Miss Videographer. Look what comes out of my pocket. A nylon stocking. Oh no, what the heck happened? Amazing, chemistry magic for today's wonderful world. Thank Another you. example of Backyard, backyard Chemistry. chemistry.